In this video, we're going to take a look at how to sync your Easy Coordinator CRM with MailChimp so you can send email marketing campaigns out. The first step is to go to MailChimp.com and set up a free account. Once you've done that, click on the Account button and select API Keys. And you're going to want to add a new key. So we're going to copy this information as we're going to need it in a little bit. Next, you want to go to lists and we're going to create a new list. You're only going to be able to sync Easy Coordinator with one MailChimp list. You're going to create groups within that list in order to categorize your different types of prospects. So let's set up a new name for a list. fill in the required fields and click the save button down below okay so my list has been created now we can go back to easy coordinator and go to the CRM and click the admin tab at the top. Click MailChimp and this is where we're going to enter in our API key. Click Save and it says sync with MailChimp so it's connected. It's going to bring up now a list of my MailChimp mailing lists so I can select the one that I just set up, sync to easy, and click Save. and it says successfully synced. Next, just go into your groups, and if you don't have any groups set up, you're gonna to wanna to set up a couple groups in here because these groups are going to sync to that MailChimp list. So I've got one called buyers and sellers, and you can see here I've got a little option to sync with MailChimp. So when I sync these with MailChimp, it's gonna create a group on that MailChimp list called buyers and called sellers. So let's go ahead and sync buyers and that's been successful. So now, when I create a new contact and I add them to the group called buyers, it's gonna sync them to the CRM, to the MailChimp list. Let's go ahead and create a new one. I'm gonna select the group buyers and make sure you enter an email address. It won't sync unless you've entered an email address. We're going to click Save, and it says Contact Synced with MailChimp. Let's go back over to MailChimp and take a look now. So I'm going to click on the Lists tab again, and I'm going to select View Groups, and there's my group Buyers. And there is my contact, mark at email.com, Mark Smith. This was an old one that I already had on my buyer's group. So this one was actually synced as well. So any contacts already in Easy Coordinator that are part of the group that you just synced are also going to sync over to MailChimp. So now once you've done this, you can start sending mail uh, campaigns and newsletters and set up autoresponders to work with these mailing lists within MailChimp. And anytime you add a contact into Easy Coordinator, going to automatically sync them over to MailChimp for you. The last piece that you can do is send out mail uh, email campaigns from MailChimp and when one of your contacts opens the email you're actually going to track that inside of Easy Coordinator and this is what it's going to look like as an example. It's going to track it in your notes section so for the contact John Smith I can click on notes Actually, let's try another one. Here we go. So for Donald Smith, you can see here that two campaigns were logged here. One was called Test, and it was opened by Donald at 422 at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then here's another campaign that I sent called Buyer Follow-Up, and that was opened by him uh, 
on 428. So you can also get this data from within MailChimp, but this will give you another way to view whether one of your prospects has opened one of your email campaigns within your Easy Coordinator CRM.